السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Allah please mercy and please be upon all of you. My dear friends, today's my topic is rights of husband and wife in Islam. My friends, according to Islam, both men and women have rights over each other when they enter into a marriage contract. My friends, Islamic law imposes a duty on the husband to financially responsible for the welfare and maintenance of his wife and any children they produce, to include at a minimum providing a home, food, and clothing. In return, it is the duty of the wife to safeguard the husband's house and protect how wealth is spent. This duty rises as soon as the marriage contract is completed. My friends, as per Islam, if the wife has wealth in her own capacity, she is not obliged to spend if upon the husband or children, as she can own property and assets in her own right. So husband has no right for her property and asset except by her will. My friends, Muslim claim to love Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Many prove that by keeping beards, using miswak and wearing pants above the ankle. No doubt, all these are sunnah and practicing any sunnah is commendable and will be rewarded. My friends, but it is equally important that one should be keep, keen to follow Prophet's example in interpersonal relationship with others like wife, children, relatives, and fellow Muslims. These same pupils beat and, and mistreat their wives and children and even a slap on the face which in Islam is strictly forbidden even for animal my friends, as a married Muslim couple, you must understand that primarily your rights and duty as a Muslim is of primary concern. Treat each other with respect that deserve as the main building block of your marriage. My friends, the, hear the following ayah from Quran. And the hadith Muslim emphasizes the importance of the husband and wife and wife relationship in Islam. My friends, the rights of the wife over husband. First, the payment of the mahr to the wife is an obligation of the marriage. It is a debt upon the husband and it cannot be avoided unless the wife chooses to willingly sacrifice it. The second point is maintenance and residence. This can be seen as food, clothing, accommodations and other expenditures, general care and suitable home. As per Allah says in Quran, Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 223. But he shall bear the cost of their food and clothing on quite quitable terms. My friends, the above verses shows that the husband is responsible to maintain his wife based on his capability and financial standing. My friends, the third point is kind and proper treatment one hadith the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the believers who have perfect faith 
आर दोज विद द बेस्ट कैरेक्टर एंड द बेस्ट ऑफ दम आर दोज हु ट्रीट देयर वुमेन द बेस्ट माई फ्रेंड्स अल्लाह सुबहान तेज इन कुरान सुरा चैप्टर फोर वर्स नाइनटीन ओ यू हु हैव बिलीव इट इज़ नॉट लॉफुल फॉर यू टू इनहरिट वोमन बाई कंपल्शन एंड डू नॉट मेक डिफिकल्टीज फॉर दैम इन ऑर्डर टू टेक बैक पार्ट ऑफ वट यू गिव दैम अनलेस दे कमिट ए क्लियर इमोरलिटी and leave with them in kindness for for if you dislike them perhaps you dislike a thing and allah makes their in much good my friends what this mean is wife should be spoken to kindly one hadith the best of you are the kindness towards their wife and i am the kindest among you to my wives my friends the fourth point is patience and tolerance husband must make allowance for the fact that women are different to men we must acknowledge that none of us are free from fault so when a husband is dealing with his wife he must be patient and tolerant of her as she must be of him one hadith the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a believer must not harbor or any rancor against a woman who believes if he dislike one of her characteristics he will certainly be pleased with another my friends the fifth point not being treated in a hostile or aggressive manner islam has been very clear about how any possible marital problem can be solved starting with the belief that constructive dialogue and thinking through problems in order for them to be concerned one hadith Aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala anha narrated Allah's messenger never hit anything with his hand ever except when fighting in the path of Allah nor did he even hit a servant or a woman my friends the rights of husbands over their wives let's start first point to obey him as long as there is no disobedience to allah the second point is to save god his honor and wealth the third point is not allow anyone enter his home without his permissions the fourth point to make the home a peaceful pleasant place my friends one hadith ibn habban Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if the woman performs her prayer and fasts Ramadan and save God her charity uh charity and obeys her husband she is allowed to enter Lord's paradise my friends when the wife disobeys her husband and becomes arrogant it is considered a great sin one hadith bukhari and muslim the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if the man asks his wife to come to bed and she refuses and he sleeps angry with her the angels would curse her till morning if she is sick or in dispose the husband should be kind and tolerance my friends a wife should gratitude show gratitude to her husband the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said allah will not look at the woman who does not thank her husband 
at the time when she cannot do without him. Al-Hakim, the book Al-Hakim. My friends, proper manners for both husband and wife to understand that marriage is a blessing from, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and based on kindness, mercy and love to work out differences and sacrifice and improve the relationship. My friends, mutual respects and consultations. The priority is the family, not friend or relative. A spouse and children and a happy home come first. Avoid unnecessary arguments, shortings and irritating life. Okay, my friends, see you again with some new topic. Allah Hafiz.